right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. It's a rainy day here in Pennsylvania, so I figured what better to do on a rainy day than to enjoy a classic. Today, we're gonna put together a gigantic pulled pork sandwich. And when I say giant, I mean giant. It has eight pounds of pulled pork on it, which I've got cooking on the grill over there. We gotta to top it with some coleslaw, and I got some baked beans and some potato salad to go along with it, so let's go ahead and put this huge pulled pork sandwich together. All right, so we got the beans, we got the potato salad, and we got the massive sandwich. Oh, dude, that thing's huge. Oh, that thing's heavy. Oh. Killer Clan, so as you saw in the clips previous, put together this huge pulled pork sandwich. It's massive. The sandwich alone is 10 pounds. I got three or four pounds of sides there, so 14 pound barbecued pulled pork sandwich. I'm not gonna wait real long because it is warm and I wanna eat it warm because there's nothing worse than having something cold. Unless you're talking about having the coldest water. So make sure you jump over to thecoldestwater.com, grab yourself one of these bottles, 21 ounces up to a gallon. Use my promo code below, get yourself a little discount, and kick me back a little bit. I have no idea how long this is gonna take me. I'm gonna run the timer. I'm going to uh, attempt to eat it like a sandwich. But like I said, it is huge, so I do have a knife here in case I wanna help cut it in half to make it easier to eat. Without further ado, the 14 pound pulled pork barbecued sandwich challenge. Three, two, one. Sandwich. I was gonna say you probably need a, a spoon or something. I got one, yeah, I got a spoon right there. Oh man. I don't I I know you guys like to see it. I'll try. Best I can do is try. <clears throat> It's huge. That's huge. It's huge. Oh. It's gonna have to be cut. I definitely can't pick it up. Look at that. It's hot. Wow. It's blazing hot. Oop, I lost it. It is good though. That cold is Nice warm. That's eight pounds of meat alone. It's huge. Wow. That thing's hot. Comment below what your favorite pulled meat is. Is it pork, chicken, beef? Maybe you like this brisket? This is red skin potatoes. Not to be confused with the Washington Redskins. They're no longer allowed to use that. Because people were offended. As a long time Washington Redskin fan, I'm offended. 
because they did away with the name. That's the problem with trying to figure out these giant sandwich challenges. <clears throat> They're too big for your mouth. The cool sauce good though. I feel like maybe I should have toasted this or something. Probably made it better. I'm already starting to get sweats. Isn't that how it always goes? Too much meat. I think this is bigger than the Sloppy Joe. I think the Sloppy Joe is five pounds of meat. This is eight. Each one of them tins is four pounds. <clears throat> Andy Poole said, you better use the whole thing. And I said, well, I don't know. He said, what are you, a girl or something? Well, guess that depends on, say. guess that depends on what girl you're talking about. <laughs> this video is going to post on a Friday. It's the Sunday before, so. Let me know how your weather was where you're living. <laughs> Coming on my face is like a combination of <coughs> barbecue sows and sweat. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we're uh, about 11 and a half minutes into this thing, starting on the second half of this sandwich. Oh, there's so much. Try to divide and conquer. It's pretty sad and you can like separate it off and <coughs> it doesn't even look like you did anything to the bottom half. It's still steaming out. Look at the steam coming off of that thing. <clears throat> oh, dude, look at that. Dude, look at it. That is a freaking, still a massive sandwich. Here we go. <clears throat> dude, that sandwich alone right there is like three, four pounds. It's huge. That's per half. Each one of these halves had four pounds on it. That's a lot.
The top bun's like super dry. <laughs> the bottom one's like wet. So wet. Almost moist. Almost moist. Question of the day. Is water wet? Is it moist? I think to date this might be the biggest giant food yet. The burrito was like 10 pounds. Sloppy Joe was 11. This is like 14. That's pretty big. Big Mac with eight. I don't know if I can finish it. It's good. Mmm. Yeah, hot. That's pulled pork. You make a really good ASMR video. I'm just gonna start doing ASMR all the time. <clears throat> I'll get more views. You gotta top your barbecue sandwiches with. Comment below. Mr. Pool coming in with a water assist. I have a clean way to eat this, sorry. That's my head. Mission pool will come in with these just again. <sighs> oh. I feel like I need a bath. Here you go, Anderson. You're all set. For you dog lovers out there, Anderson only gets himself a shot. It's about all of work now. <clears throat> nice bite of pork.
think that's the biggest pulled pork sandwich eaten by one person on YouTube. Uh. Whew, I'm not trying to find a clean side. Ugh, I'm not gonna get a bath. Okay. Bust into some cold water. Pull out a little bit. That's cool. And we got some baked beans in here. <coughs> Potato salad. Favorite barbecue side? Comment below. I gotta hurry up my camera, don't I? Wow. Right, get so, <clears throat> wow. I had to take a minute to compose myself. Harrison's trying to get my napkins. I got that challenge in right before the battery died on my camera. Whew. Well, I'll tell you, that was a lot. Uh, 14, 15 pounds. I have no idea. Real close to that because the sandwich alone was 10. Eight pounds of pulled pork alone. <clears throat> Two pounds of bread and half a pound of coleslaw at least. <clears throat> so the sandwich was like 10 and a half. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you would consider subscribing to see me do crazy and potentially stupid things like this that you shouldn't ever try at home. Remember to jump over to the coldest water and grab yourself one of these water bottles if you like your water cold like I do for these crazy challenges that I get super, super sweaty over. If you want a t-shirt or a decal, $5 for the decals, $20 for the t-shirts. I have size and medium through 2X. They're $20 and I'll get them right out to you. PayPal KennedyCollision at gmail.com and include your size and your address. Get it on its way. Until next time, take it easy.